Phillips, Bang Average Fishing. How are we? Just wanted to do this intro really, just to say one hell of a big thank you. We hit the massive 3,000 subscribers earlier in the week and I'm absolutely buzzed. But I tell you what, I don't really do it for that. I do it because I just love fishing. I'm filming actually, that's, that's so much fun as well. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. And if you're watching this and haven't subscribed, you know what to do. I'll let you watch the rest of the video. We're traveling around Tampa, having an absolute blast, seeing what the city's got to offer. And we have an absolute worldie of a time in probably the best tackle shop I've ever, ever been to. in the boulevard, no jaywalking for me, baby. Wish I had one of them at home, be very helpful. Why adopt a leopard when you can adopt a highway? Well, folks, as you can see, I am currently sat in a stunning little bar, waiting for a Dr. Pepper. Class. Anyway, I'm just on the water's edge as well here, so a lovely little spot just to watch the day go by and prep ourselves for doing a bit of fishing. This is what it's about, isn't it? English boy gets drinks for free. I have barely paid for anything while I've been here. You've got a little English accent like me and you're incredibly polite. Oh, get what you want. Well then, I've had my Dr. Pepper for the day. And did you know it keeps a doctor away? Hey, sure it does. We're on the water's edge now. And what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna tootle along and see what we can find. Absolutely beautiful. We've grabbed the fish rig 180 from Rigdon ready. Little telescopic rod with so much action. And we've got this guy on, a little micro jig. It's got sort of octopusy squid vibes, hasn't it? And it's also got a little spinner on it as well. <laughs> Bait shop, fishing at the same time. Can't not, can you? Be rude not to. If you've got a bait shop right on the water's edge, be rude to not just have a line in the water, wouldn't it? Hey, pal, how are you doing? Hey, it's, uh, nothing yet. It's been slow today. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday good. Today nothing. What did What do you catch off here? Uh, oh man, I got a big snook yesterday. Whopper. Yeah. No way. So I'm just fishing and walking my way through Tampa. It's not a bad city, this. It's kind of beautiful, this little riverside walk. Loads going on. Loads to look at. Take that as you will. Not a bad way to spend a day. The dad look. T-shirt tucked into shorts and trainers. If only they were white. The dream! Tiki and a cocktail. The smug look on those people's faces is out of this world. Really do appreciate the fake palm tree stuck on the end there. I feel like they could have just got a real one and watered it. No. Just a cold, yeah? They don't get colds around there, I don't think, do they? So I've just switched over to a little jig, a little prawny crayfish type thing. I'm not overly confident, I have to admit as well, I am baking in the sun here. So this might be our last few casts before I head off. Fish on. Nice. <laughs> Did not expect that. Oh my God. I was literally just about to say I'm leaving. <laughs> what have we got on? Looking like a redfish. Let's get over there. But yes, that is a redfish. My first one. I was about to say this is a bit of a blank and we've ended up nailing this beautiful redfish. It's not a big one, but he's absolutely gobbled that little guy. I've only just switched over to him. What have I been doing? There you go, sir. Ooh, straight back under here. Jeez, folks, that was well unexpected. I hadn't even had a chance to go through what I'd done. I've just switched over to that. First cast, it's nailed it. Buzzing, my first redfish, I think. Just take note, I might be wrong. I was one cast away from calling this a day and then that happens. Really am, genuinely, I am in a bit of shock. I'm like, definitely probably suffering from heat frustration a little bit. Another species as well. Do you know what was great about that as well? Just putting him back, that's why I fish.
Hi folks, I don't think I've been allowed to fish all the way along here, but if you ain't been seen, it doesn't matter. Naughty! Well, I've just eaten probably the biggest sandwich I've ever eaten, and I am ready, refueled, for what I have been so, so excited for. And if you can already guess by that behind me, we're in a very special tackle shop. And the fact that a tackle shop has trolleys tells you it's gonna be mega. Bass Pro Shops. This is gonna be something else. These guys are like a chain across the US, but the biggest, biggest tackle shops you'll probably find in the world. So excited to see what we're gonna see in here. Think it could be an absolute lure angler's paradise. few weeks left of this trip so I'm gonna have to leave the trolley there and be sensible and get a basket right where do we start that's pro shop let's do it let's see what's knocking about first place I've stumbled on men's apparel gonna give that a big fat miss forecast clothing guys out now go check them out oh me and adventure fishing UK's clothing brand want to make you guys look absolutely dapper when you fish it. I do have to be sensible here. I don't have an endless budget whatsoever. So I am going to try and keep it a little bit PC. Oh my God, stop. Said man, said man, said man. Oh, gulp. Everything. I, don't, I just don't even know where to start. Like, where do I even keep browsing? It's just stuff. Like, it's spacious. But with loads of stuff, like, what? Hey, yep. A up, A up. Ooh, days. Look at those Rapalas. <laughs> Hello. This is for Marlin and big game fish. They're so cool. Look at that. You know what? I think a pike could have that on the canal. <laughs> I actually do. And I'm tempted to get one. Right. Line. Oh my lord. I think we need to draw a line in the sand. I think there's everything here. I don't think there's anything that you could think of that they don't have. Carp gear. <laughs> Ooh. Bargain bin. Always up for a bargain bin. Look at them. At Primark, it's just trainer socks. Right, which one of these bad boys are we going for? I think that one. That looks good. Ooh, that one looks good too. Oh, that one looks good too. What have I spotted here? Matching. Not sure about that. Fish. Wow. Got some channel cats, gar, redfish, and some bass. I have to admit, they do look a bit sorry for themselves. Say you, say me, coming together. Clearly some missing there, but an actual selection of tackle boxes to go at. Right, look at that one. That's a Bass Pro one. But there's some really good tackle boxes here. Plenty of selection. Honestly, it's my bugbear tackle boxes. Ooh, 649, cheeky. Made in the USA as well for all those rednecks out there. Changed my mind. I've gone for pink. Bingo. That's what we want. Oh, and that. Oh, and that one. Oh, and that one. Oh, and that one. Now this is what we've been looking for. I've been looking for these. They're so good. The question is, what do we go for? White or dark? we go dark is that what i think it is a popping frog that's going straight in my basket there's some chatter baits Ooh, which one do we go for which one these are 15.99 but these ones are 5.49 and 9.49 why are these so much more expensive just keep walking down the aisles because i know i've missed something more popping frogs what a selection of frogs oh look at these these will be deadly deadly for trout so many of them we'll get this as well I think that's it. I'm trying to be sensible. I'm trying to be sensible. And on that note, guys, I'm going to leave you. What an unbelievable tackle shop. And if only there was somewhere like that in the UK, I'd be there every week. Absolutely buzzing. What a smashing day we've had in Tampa today. Doing a little bit of fishing, a little bit of exploring, and then top the day off with a whole new restock up of fishing gear. That's 
is a job well done. Tight lines, folks. Keep bloody fishing.